Well, congratulations. Uh, you survived Opti 201. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, go through all of this material with us. And we really appreciate all the awesome questions and, and feedback and, and everything, all the participation um, for a, a remote event like this. Um, it's truly uh, just, um, it's truly great to see that there is such an interest um, in, in the data science community, in the OR community, um, uh, all over the place for, for um, just understanding more about mathematical optimization. So again, uh, thank you so much. So what I want to do is take a few minutes to uh, wrap up um, our training and essentially give some, um, some good next steps for anyone who's interested in uh, further pursuing uh, mathematical optimization as you know, part of your education or part of your career and um, to help you sort of, you know, sort of understand the landscape a little bit and, and sort of help you see what's next. One of the things that I really liked about this training was the breadth of experience that was uh, amongst the crowd. Uh, we had folks that were just learning about optimization. Um, it's just sort of expanding a little bit based off of what, you know, what was in 101. And we also had people that were very, very, um, very, very experienced uh, optimization modelers. And, and I think that's great. It sort of shows the interest that, that people have um, in mathematical optimization. So uh, what I want to talk about now is, okay, um, what ways do, do we have at Groby to help you learn what mathematical optimization is if you need to learn that, um, why it's important, why it's difficult, um, and um, to, no matter if you're, you know, uh, intro or, or more experienced, we have resources that will challenge you and help you, but then also help you maybe explain what optimization is to others, um, help you uh, convey the value and importance of mathematical optimization to others um, so, so we can um, sort of spread the word and get more people using this um, awesome way of modeling. So um, the first uh, thing that I want to mention about uh, you know this learning journey is again starting uh, sort of at the basic level is what we call the burrito optimization game, and this is an educational web uh, web based game that um, allows you to sort of really understand the complexities of mathematical optimization and why it is truly a difficult problem where you're asked to solve a problem of putting burrito trucks on a map the number of trucks you want to use and where to place them in order to maximize the daily profit for people who want lunch. Seems like a very interesting pro or a very simple problem, but in reality it's not. And we sort of show that things get very difficult very fast when it comes to mathematical optimization and that a solver like Garobi can really uh, provide value by solving um, complicated problems super fast. Uh, the next thing I want to mention is uh, our set of notebook modeling examples along with our demos. Um, we have online demos that anyone can access to show the types of problems that mathematical optimization can solve and, and provides a very visual interface um, that you can use to, to sort of sh visually um, convey this. Um, and we, again, I'm gonna talk more about our notebook examples in a little bit, but we have a ton of notebook modeling examples, all, of, all different sorts of industries, all different types of problems. Um, so anything that you're interested in, uh, any topic, uh, we probably have something that'll fit uh, your need there. While those are, are sort of specific um, examples that are more um, uh, like illustrative of, of features or, or sort of basic problem types, our case studies are much more um, uh, real world because they're actual customer stories about people who use Garobi and um, and we're telling their story about how they use it um, and, and how it's impacted their business. So we have uh, case studies, um, again, numerous industries, numerous problem types, numerous uh, ways of, of, of solving um, uh, uh, very complex problems. And um, so again, no matter what you're interested in, no matter what topic you're, you're trying to dive into, there's probably a case study that'll be interesting to you. And then lastly, our uh, Groby YouTube channel, um, over the last few years, last couple of years, um, we've made a, a concerted effort to put a lot of um, new content out there um, in terms of video. 
um, to help people understand optimization, to understand um, customer use cases, to understand um, tips and tricks, to understand how to model things most efficiently. Again, so this is a great um, resource. Again, for anyone who's just starting, we have a lot of tutorial and introductory videos. Um, I, I mentioned um, earlier on in the training uh, all of our um, explainer videos, which I reference uh, here as well. And we also have much more technical, much more complicated, much more detailed webinars and, and things like that for very specific topics if you're an expert as well. So no matter where you are um, uh, along your optimization journey, there's a lot of stuff on this uh, YouTube channel that will be great for you. So now I wanna dive into a little bit more detail on our example notebook library, which is free to use for everybody. Um, this has come up a few times, but again, in this course and um, in a lot of our material, we are expanding the range to, uh, from introductory to advanced folks. Um, so no matter where you are in your optimization journey, you'll find an example that should be challenging for you. Um, all of these use our intuitive Python API, uh, also key Groby features, and now we're starting to incorporate our new open source sponsored packages um, that really show some cool capabilities as, uh, in addition to just uh, basic modeling and even uh, intermediate and advanced modeling as well. Sort of giving you the whole, uh, uh, the whole kit and caboodle, I guess, um, in terms of how to use Groby um, in Python. And with our case studies, with our um, um, uh, other examples, our, our, our demos, um, all we, we Groby uh, spans numerous industries and numerous topics, and that's the same here as well. Anything that you're interested in learning more about and uh, seeing if mathematical optimization is used there, th it, there probably is something, and you can find it in our example library. And what's great about uh, notebook examples is it gives learners the freedom to experiment with mathematical optimization. Um, you don't have to worry about breaking, you know, code or anything like that. You just reload a notebook and start, you know, and, and start at it again. So it's a great way to feel com to get to feel comfortable using mathematical optimization. And all of these examples can help you find um, inspiration for your coursework and your projects as well. So uh, over the last couple of years, we've been really building out our data science example library. So these are examples that are tailored towards the data science crowd that have some data science component or can be um, used with uh, typical data science problems. So we have a fantasy basketball example, price optimization, music recommendations, um, uh, renewable scheduling, which is part of um, this course and Opti 101 as well and also some cool examples on airline disruption and text similarity. So uh, really interesting topics that um, are sure to pique anyone's interest and, um, and show the power of combining uh, machine learning, data science, uh, and mathematical optimization. So um, our full example library, again, lots of industries, lots of different topics. So I'm not gonna go through all of them, but again, there's a lot. And again, whatever you're interested in, you'll probably find something that's good for you. Um, another really cool learning tool that um, was developed um, by some real smart folks <laughs> um, uh, here at Groby is a, a Groby Pi card game. And again, this is more for the introductory level of, um, um, individuals where it's it's a card game that you just print out and it's sort of it's just like a matching game where you match um, parts of a formulation, which we've talked about in 101 and seen in 201. Uh, you match that with a chunk of code that sort of does the same thing. So you're matching the math model to the optimization code. So it's a great fun way to build um, to build a, uh, um, a sort of the internal memory of of what goes where and, and, and how do I code up a summation? How do I code up adding variables and constraints and things like that? So it's just a fun way to go about that. And if, if this is if it's your responsibility to help understand others understand mathematical optimization, this is a great way to get um, to get people to be interactive, to get people to participate and learn at the same time. So again, numerous case studies. Uh, I just want to bring this up here again. We have a lot of very cool um, case studies that I think um, uh, with a lot of interesting companies. So definitely check out um, all of these. I just wanted to sort of show the cool list of, of folks that use Garobi um, and, and use it uh, to solve really interesting and really difficult problems. 
So uh, you may be thinking, okay, um, I, I think optimization could be great for me. I know of some ideas um, that I can use. Um, how do I implement uh, an optimization model? And uh, so I want to just highlight a few things here um, is that uh, we have a bunch of different uh, very lightweight I APIs. Like I said before, Python is our most popular, but you know, if you're an R user like me, uh, we have that there, you know, that there's a Groby API there, um, MATLAB, C, Java, anything, you know, pretty much anywhere that you would work on stuff. We have a, a, a really good API. So as I mentioned, the most popular API is our Python. Um, so, um, because of that, we've started developing um, Groby sponsored packages, and I've listed um, a few of them here. One is Groby Py Pandas, which um, helps integration. It helps if you're a Pandas user. There's a certain way you do things. Um, so this um, optional um, wrapper uh, around Groby Py um, just sort of lets you do things in a more Pandas way, and so it makes makes things a little bit more intuitive for folks who who use Pandas day in and day out. Garobi machine learning is something that um, I've, I've mentioned before about embedding a trained machine learning model into an optimization model. This is the package that does that. Um, there's uh, Groby log tools, which help you analyze um, uh, log outputs. And then a really cool thing about Groby OptiMods. Um, and if you're going to tune into the optional session um, after this, I'm going to talk about a specific one there. And then also there's flexibility for how you want to use Garobi, whether you want to use it in a container, um, if you want to use um, uh, our cloud computing infrastructure, you know, or if you just want to, you know, get a good old fashioned license and put it on your uh, on a laptop. Wh however you need to work uh, is is how um, Garobi can work with you. And then if you're interested in open source modeling packages, things like Pyomo or Pulp and things like that, um, we do um work with a, a lot a lot of those um you may not get all of the bells and whistles but um but you it's, it's a great way to sort of experiment with different solvers or or um uh, things of that nature where you need to sort of take one out put one take out a solver put a different solver in um or if you're used to maybe something like pulp and pyomo and you want to sort of see the benefits of garobi you can easily build a model uh, using an open source solver when you when it scales up when your problem scales up and you no longer can solve it with an open source tool then plug in garobi and see the the advantages there uh, uh so if you're in uh in academia your student or faculty um, you may be thinking, oh, how do I get access to Groby? This little flow chart will help you there. So if your university has a site license, yes or no, that will steer you to a named user license or an academic site license. Um, if you're running Groby inside a container, then that'll steer you towards our academic uh, WLS, which is web license server um, uh, license as well. So um, check out the link below and check out um, our academic pages to learn more. So if I had to point to um, one resource, I think one page that would be a great one for anyone to dive into to learn more about mathematical optimization, it would be this one, uh, groby.com slash learn, where we have all of our webinars, events that are, uh, are posted there, introductory materials, um, notebook, or links to our notebook examples, to our um, to our demos, pretty much everything that I've been talking about, you can find in, in this one place. But I also want to highlight, um, you know, sort of uh, that we have these solutions by um, by role as well. So if you're a data scientist, you want to see what are the what are the best data science things I can look into. Um, so just go to our website and then you'll scroll over solutions and then you'll see by role data scientists operations research business leaders and academic as well so you can see what um, what resources are best for you and this is one thing that I am super excited to talk about um, if you enjoyed Opti 101 and Opti 201 but you thought like hey this was pretty fast paced there's a lot going on in a short amount of time or it was things seemed kind of glossed over um, we were just going too fast to really cover the material in depth this is for you. Um, we were working with uh, Dr. Uh, Joel Sokol of Georgia Tech um, to produce 
um, a, a full scale sort of online course um, for integrating data science and optimization called Introduction to Optimization Through the Lens of Data Science. Um, and it is going to be a free course on Udemy. So um, if you have, it, just check that platform out. And um, again, this is going to be a really awesome course, um, really detailed. And when you're done with it, you're going to be uh, in a great position to use optimization sort of in your day to day, your research or your courses. So uh, thank you very much. I appreciate um, you taking all the time to uh, uh, to sit in this training and feel free to reach out with any questions and again check out all the great resources and we hope that you use them uh, all of the time so thank you so much and uh, have a great rest of your day your week and until next time